Hello LEGO friends, Matt from Brooks Bricks here. It is the morning of January 1st, 2021, and I am on my way to the LEGO store at Destiny USA in Syracuse, New York to get some new releases. Woohoo! It is um, about 8.30 in the morning, and the store doesn't open until 10, and I don't have that far to go. So <laughs> I'm going to be there in hopefully the front of a line for a little while, but that's all good. I figured I'd make a little blog video. So stay tuned for more of these little updates as I go along here. All right, it is 8.49 a.m. Pulling into the mall. Let's see how many people are actually here. <laughs> All these cars are not coming into the Lego store. <laughs> and I'm going to do one of the things I enjoy doing at this mall for ease of access, and I'm going to park in one of the parking garages. Oh, super scared of the dark. Oh my god. <laughs> and I've never seen this. This is empty. Of course, I've never been here like this before. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool. Get myself a sweet parking spot. Pretty sure that this is not a reserve spot because there's no sign posted. All right, and on the clock it is 8:51. Hmm. Walking in the mall. is a ghost town right now. <laughs> Not surprisingly. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half before, at least an hour before once everything opens. <clears throat> Elevators here. We second floor, please. All right. There it is. All right, only a couple people there. That's not horrible. I can deal with that. <laughs> that looks like they're getting set up. <laughs> Apple Store.
<laughs> Say hi for the vlog, Steve. <laughs> About a half hour to opening. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, I am going to do a vlog. So a few minutes to opening. Looks like the team is doing their little powwow, getting ready to open the store. <laughs> is it time? Yay! <laughs> Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, folks. Vlogging for the channel. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> it's hard to see, but here is the hall. We'll show this more off later. All right, back in the car, it's 10.45, but I ended up spending a few minutes talking to a couple of folks outside the store after I did my quick run inside. I was actually out by 10.15. Um, so it was a quick run in, grab everything I wanted. Very happy with it. And it's time to go home and put it together, the official haul video, and capture some of what I've uh, vlogged here <laughs> and some of the craziness. So I'll have to edit out here. Um, but look forward to posting this all for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> Stay tuned to see what I get. All right, and it's time to show off the haul. I'm going to start with a couple packs of random minifigures that I picked up here. And these are basically just from like minifig bin parts and pieces that they had in display. And I just grabbed them off the shelves because I thought it'd be really fun. <laughs> so these are not going to be kept as they are in the city. You can see it's quite an eclectic mix of parts, but I thought it'd be really fun to just grab these because I always like adding to my minifig inventory so that in the future as I start building up more and more scenes, I've got more awesome things to use. So good times with that. Next up... More minifigure stuff, but not quite the same as this. Next up, this is something I've been waiting a little bit for because I'm always excited for more minifigures, and that is the Series 22 CMFs. And as I suspected and I hoped, my store once again labeled these. So in no particular order, I'm happy to present. We got the raccoon figure. We've got the chili pepper. Robot Repair Tech. Horse Groomer. Snow Guardian. Figure Skater. The Loot Player, or as I call him, the Bard. Night Protector. And Bird Watcher. So I didn't get all 12 of them yet. There's eight. I think they said that they're missing two or three of them. Um, and they did limit to one um, figure each per thing for now because they wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to at least get some of the figures. 
um, as a store opened up today. So that's very exciting. I'm definitely looking to get more of those um, various folks as I go along into the next year here. I did want to show this off really quick. This is actually the gift with city purchases poly bag that I picked up. Uh, kids playground. I thought it was a little, you know, cute little thing. This was for city sets you picked up over forty dollars, which you'll see I did do that. A um, couple of cute little kid minifigs because I don't have a lot of children, so this is just great to add to that and a uh, you know skateboard and some little park fun stuff. So very very cool. And now for the sets. Hopefully from <laughs> smallest in cost and size to the biggest. The police car. Nice $10 pickup. Um, this is pretty sleek looking. I definitely wanted to get another one of these um, to go with the one that came out, I believe, in 2020 because that was a sleek car. And this one's pretty cool too. Very happy to get that. Next up, I definitely had my eyes on this from when it came, when the city sets were revealed. Picnic in the park. Some cool mini figures here, lots of cool little stuff. And squirrels! In fact, two squirrels with this set. So this will be a fun one to add um, as I revamp the entire park space in uh, Brooksville. I definitely want to put all this stuff in there because I think it'd be a perfect addition. Next up, as we go up in size of things here, the, life, the Beach Lifeguard Station. Again, because this has some cool stuff here, lots of cool minifigures. Um, I love the torsos on these, they're really fun. And this has one of the ice cream guys with it. Very, very cool. So I picked up that. I'm going to see if I can get that integrated into my beach area for sure. Next up, I don't think this will be any surprise to anybody that's been looking at the city stuff. Yep, I got one of those new cranes. So definitely look forward to building this. In fact, I'll probably be building a few of these things on live streams going forward here. But very, very awesome. This, again, has the vibes of the 80s style sets here. Comes with one of those row plates and say a lot of great stuff about this. I mean, people have ranted or raved about this um, for a number of weeks now since it's been out. So look forward to building that. Let's see. Next up, um, this is actually something also that as soon as I saw it, I told myself I was getting it. And that is... The Street Food Market Lego Friends set. The taco truck with the smiling taco face. And these street stands, which are perfect. Perfect for me to try to find a place to integrate into um, my open marketplace area. Um, at the end of the monorail stop, Newberry Station as I call it. Um, of course, mini dolls. Don't really care about those. Adorable little kitten sitting there, but love all of this. This is fantastic. So I definitely look forward to building all of that. Now for the coup d'etat. Yes, celebrating 15 years of modular buildings of which I am a big fan of. It is the Boutique Hotel Modular, the 2022 release. Sets 10, 297, 3,066 pieces. And this, in my opinion, is a beauty. I loved this the minute I saw it um, released as a set um, back in early December, I think it was. I knew I was getting this on day one, and this is going to be built as I do some live stream over the next uh, week or so. I think I want to get this one built pretty quickly just because it looks fantastic. I really, really look, have looked forward to this with the style, the design, and all that good stuff. So that was the big purchase today, but actually the way it worked out for me, this actually was basically free. I redeemed $150 worth of VIP points and I used a $50 gift card from Christmas um, to basically cover this. And then the other stuff was from some extra Christmas money as well. So a fairly solid haul, um, most of which was covered by Christmas gifts and just my purchases over the last couple of years, you know, using VIP points. So overall, I can't complain too much. Let me go ahead and just put all this stuff back on the table real quick and just give you one last shot. All right, now here is the money shot. Everything out here at once. How very cool is this? And there it is. <laughs> 
it's taking up my entire main building table here and bumping into my cameras. <laughs> And I could have gotten a lot more if I really wanted to, but I felt like this was a solid start. This was the main thing, and all this was also some stuff I had my eye on from the get-go. And I'm very happy, and I may end up buying some more stuff too. May. I probably will. <laughs> As I figure out more things that I want. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, Lego vlog haul video. I want to wish everybody a happy 2022, happy new year. Do hope that this next year ends up going better than the last year or two have, and that we see things finally improve in a lot of different ways. Um, but it is this hobby that I got back into in um, May of, uh, or June of 2019 that has really kept me going. All the folks I've met in the community, the videos I've watched, and now that I'm actually a content creator and streamer as well it's been a ride and i'm definitely looking forward to keeping this going it's really fun really really is it's a great joy <laughs> so glad i'm able to do this <laughs> uh, but for now i do want to thank all my subscribers in particular for watching and thank you again for all your support as always if you haven't please hit that subscribe button hit the like share the video you know, hit the notification bell for all that good stuff. Leave it a comment or thought below because I really appreciate interacting with everybody and the engagement. And until next time, this is Matt from Brooks Brooks saying thanks and see ya.